Hi guys, this is Good Morning Red Airsoft, and I have another review, Airsoft review, and it is on the CYMA Glock 24, I believe. I got it off of Airsplat for $5 because I just needed a pistol. I don't really care what it was, what it was, but so, but I was looking for a Glock, and I guess I just paid like six bucks for it, so. Um, by the way, this gun, um, very, very durable plastic. Um, it comes with two magazines. One looks like this, and then one looks completely different. Um, this gun shoots about 280 FPS with a range of 50 to 60 feet. Um, I have, well, what it came with was the mags, and then it came with this little barrel extension. I highly recommend that you keep this, but don't throw it don't throw it away. But one concern about it is that it kind of increases the range, but it lowers the accuracy. So if you're looking for a pistol that's really accurate and you're playing like a CQB, just any spring pistol, like a cheap old five dollar one, I'd recommend this one. But anyway, the mag capacity is around 12 rounds. And one mag looks like that in there. It's like a big, thick mag. And the mag release button is right there. Press that. It should. It doesn't drop down. So you just go like that and take it out. And this mag looks like this with this mag. Yeah, it's... I don't have the largest hands, but this gun is pretty big with this mag. With this mag, I can... I can still hold it, but... Something like that. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, here is the barrel extension. The barrel extension, what you do to put it on and take it off. There's a little switch right here. You, um, what you do is you hold this back, like push it down, and then hold it. Next, what you do is you take it and you just put it on while holding it. And same thing with taking off. Okay, pros and cons. One pro is it's very accurate. It's good for CQB and um, it, I wouldn't recommend it for like um, like if you're in like a big forest or like a really really big field or something like that. It's good for backyard wars, pistol wars, CQB wars, everything. Um, this gun, the one concern is the I think that they I don't really like the barrel extension they really shouldn't have included that because I think it looks kind of stupid like that in a way but uh, with the mag like this this mag it actually makes it it makes it look big as it is big it's a Glock 24 26 something like that but I think it's normally called the P six thirty eight, I believe. Don't have the box, so if I'm wrong, you guys can just correct me in the comments. But stay tuned for more reviews and stuff like that, unboxings and shooting tests and more videos. This has been Glowing Red Airsoft's so review of the P six six three eight. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.